Hey guys, it's Brother John here with you once again. Uh, I'm transmitting from the guest room. I'm still in quarantine as of this video. Uh, I will be out of quarantine Sunday morning where I will lead worship with you at Parkway Baptist and I cannot wait. Hey, first, before we get to the, um, the psalm today, Psalm 3, let me encourage you to go to Zoom. We have our Zoom meeting on Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock, and we have a great time there, and I'm so thankful. Uh, if you want to be lifted up, if you want to be prayed for, if you want to be just part of that fellowship, please check it out. And the details are on the bottom of the email that contains this video. Anyway, today I'm going to talk about Psalm 3. Psalm 3 is an amazing psalm in so many ways. First of all is the first lament psalm. You know, we have some songs that are just full of praise. We have some songs that uh, are um, uh, sometimes full of scorn from the Lord. And then we have some psalms where the, the writer is lamenting. And this is also the first psalm that we have in book one of Psalms of David. And so this is a, this is a big deal. On top of all of that, and yes, by the way, my laptop is on my lap, where it should be, laptop, and I'm, I'm sitting in our guest bed right now. <laughs> I've got the door closed because Kimberly is doing some uh, Zoom meetings herself in the other room. But this is the, the first Psalm of David, and it was written um, in the context of 2 Samuel 17, when Absalom, basically with, with his growing number, chased David out of the castle, and uh, they fled, they hid, and then later, of course, they would regain the castle. Uh, unfortunately, Absalom had to, had to die in that struggle, not by David's hand, um, but by uh, his military leader's hand. And, um, but this psalm describes David crying out to the Lord. And what I love about this psalm, and I have recited this psalm a lot, and I'll tell you when, and I'll tell you in what context. It's um, verse 5 that I, I wanted to share with you especially. I lay down and slept. I awoke because the Lord sustained me. The Lord, L-O-R-D, <clears throat> if you're following along in Scripture, is capitalized there, which that means that that particular word is what's known as the Tetragrammaton, or Yahweh, the four, four Hebrew letters. Um, and that is the most proper term for God. In fact, it is such a proper term that the... Uh, the Hebrew writers would not write it out. So um, <clears throat> this, is, this is a big deal. David is saying, I lay down and slept. Now, let's put this in context. Let's put this in context of today. We had an election this week. Uh, I stayed up till 1230 and barely slept because I was interested. I can guarantee you, Neither Donald Trump nor Joe Biden got any sleep. Um, I, I read the, um, the biography of Harry Truman, and in his election, he, uh, you know, he was at the, he was at the party, and, and everything was, you know, what a, a, uh, an election night party is. And then he said, "Good night." And he went to bed and had a good night's sleep. Impossible. Unimaginable. But there are some people, especially, <laughs> especially David, who despite everything else, rests in the Lord. So he can say, I lay down and slept. He was in a cave. His son was chasing him. He'd lost his kingdom and was very likely going to lose his life. Yet, he says, I lay down and slept. I awoke because the Lord sustains me. Amazing. To have that kind of trust in the Lord God, to know that he sustains us no matter what. 
that's something that we can always learn from. By the way, and, and getting off of the off of the subject, the this psalm also is the is the first time that we see really in our arrangement of the Bible the term selah, S E L A H. There's been a lot of um, of discussion on what that word means. Some say it means rest. I'm actually uh, writing a paper uh, pretty soon to to submit to uh, the Evangelical Theological Society uh, on what I think it means, and I think it actually, of course I would, is indicative of stopping singing and having a blast of the trumpet. When I get all that figured out, I'll share that paper with you. <laughs> but anyway, this lament psalm is huge. And what we can do to apply it is when we are feeling conflicted, when we are feeling uptight, when we are feeling under pressure, to know that the Lord sustains us and we can rest in Him. Even if you're like me and you don't sleep so well, we can always rest in Him. So it's it's very uh, it's actually very fitting that I should talk to you today, sitting on my guest bed. <laughs> all right. Well, that, that's all that I have for this week. Next week we explore Psalm four, where I talk about having more confidence in the Lord in conflict. So good to see you, and I can't wait till we're all back. See you Sunday. See you Wednesday. Bye bye.